any earnest inquiry into the reasons for human existence eventually comes up against the two most difficult questions of all. Who are we? And why are we here? Despite today's advances in science and technology, these two questions have remained unanswered. Focused as it is on the physical, modern science can show us how we got here, and it can show us of what this world is made. But it cannot satisfactorily answer these fundamental metaphysical questions about the meaning of life. There was one who came long ago, a metahuman of the highest order, Yeshua bin Yosef, Jesus the Christ, you may know him. He has arisen. He was not of your Christian religion. Christianity as a religion was not created 325 years till after the death of Jesus when it was created by a pagan Roman emperor named Constantine. A system of control, an enslavement program created by a pagan emperor. The religious people of the time were known as the Pharisees. Those were the religious, those were the organized religions that crucified the Christ, Jesus. The organized religion of Jesus' day, the Pharisees, hated him to the point of public humiliation and execution, all because Yeshua was offering humanity a way to avoid hell and gain everlasting life. Ultimately, people hated Yeshua because seventh dimensional Sananda, Jesus, called them away from the toxic addictions, thoughts, lifestyles, habits, and vices they not only identified with, not only loved, but could not live without. The only thing I can't live without, aside from my connection to source, is Folger's coffee, instant and adequately heated. But the Pharisees, the religious, the organized religion of the time, of Yeshua's time, hated him. They killed him. They crucified him. But Yeshua died willingly with love and compassion in his heart for them. In this day and age, in 2023, in this age, people will literally hate you and call you a bigot for loving God, for loving your connection to source, for recognizing your I am presence enough to put the right way of living before woke ideologies, political correctness, politics, and pop culture, the satanic matrix, the satanic negative energy matrix that Yeshua preached against. Sin was not doing something that angered the Anunnaki Yahweh God. The sin was a negative mindset that Yeshua came to dispel and teach people how to live through their I am presence and the law of attraction, or as Yeshua called it, the law of adding. These people today, the satanic matrix, will hate you for doing what's pure and correct. They will badmouth you for walking away from the things that God hates and condemns. Dear esteemed, honorable, noble, and notable viewer, I am here to tell you that the closer you draw to God, the more Satan's conscious or unconscious servants will hate you. If your walk, if your path to source, your connection to source is resulting in the world loving you, then you have one foot in the promised land and one foot in the wasteland. Dual, res dual residency is something scripture looks at with fondness or approval. Is not something, excuse me, dual, res dual residency in the promised land and in the wasteland, you can't serve two masters. As Jesus says, as Yeshua said, if thou art lukewarm, I will vomit you out of my mouth. It is better to be hot or cold. So take a page from Yeshua, from our Lord and Savior's life, and use it 
as both an example and a, a measuring tool, a barometer. If, you're, if you walk with God, if you're connected with source, is resulting in enmity with the world around you, if it's breaking toxic relationships, if it's triggering the morally bankrupt, then you are on the right path. Namaste, Namaskaram.